Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, The Magical Maven. My name is Heather, and today is a pick a card for the Divine Feminine. So whether you are a Divine Feminine soul, or you're watching this for the Divine Feminine side of yourself, as we all have a feminine and masculine side. So there's five options to choose from. So pile one with the Apophyllite, pile two with the Aura Quartz, pile three with the Stillbite in Apophyllite, pile four with the Rose Quartz, or pile five with Sodalite. So if you wanna pause this right now to pick your number or, and or crystal, if you're drawn to more than one, then there probably are messages for you and you know both. So again, you could choose by number or by crystal. But let me move these over and we'll jump right into pile one. And just also, since this is a collective reading, just take what resonates. If something doesn't, you can leave it behind. Okay, so for pile one, the first card you have from the magical spell cards on what you might be having issues in, um, what you need to focus on. We have organization, purpose, planning, efficiency now come to me so easily. So some of you might be having issues um, being organized within your life. Um, I'm getting also clear direction. And I am being drawn to how she has a child in the picture. So some of you might be trying to master your schedule, your home life, your work life. Some of you might even have children. Oh, so actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to lay out all the cards and then we'll go over them deeper. I'll just kind of read what it says. So for your Isis card, we have Healing the Divine Masculine. It says the Divine Masculine within provides protection, discernment, healing, and a sense of deep safety and holding even through the most uncomfortable circumstances of life. Your inner masculine is going through inner healing right now, growing stronger in the ability to offer you some inner protection and stability so that your inner feminine can blossom with creative expression. So right there, if you're having issues with like the powers of the mind, organization, planning, efficiency, you might not, you might be too in your feminine energy and not enough in your divine masculine energy. So I'm getting that you're needing to come into balance between your divine feminine and divine masculine sides. So you have to step more in and lean more into this divine masculine energy. Also, of course, this could be about your own divine masculine, um, if it's not about your divine masculine side, but a, a counterpart. But we'll get into that in a little bit. But I just wanted to talk about that one message that we got off right off the bat. Uh, from the Heal Yourself cards, we have patience as well as temptation. Oh, so if messages come to me, I will, you know, speak them out. But once I get them all laid out, we'll go further. So something I was getting with those is don't lower your standards because you are tired of waiting. Because with this temptation, you might be tempted to take action or accept something because you're sick of waiting. But I'm being guided to tell you to hold out for the real thing or for what's true, what's real. You know, not settling for second best or something that's lower a lower standard and it could possibly be a person but it also could be an opportunity too from the gospel of Arabia, you have the hedge and pilgrimage some of you are healers but you do need to also clear your energy with the hedge witch card here, right? Um, see how there's all the nature in this. Some of you need to step outside, step outdoors. Because Mother Earth is very nurturing, cleansing, clearing. And with the pilgrimage, I'm getting that for some of you, it's about journeying in the depths of your soul. However, some of you actually need to take a trip. But the trip isn't about necessarily like a destination trip or a vacation, like maybe actually doing a pilgrimage. I actually did like um, one like that myself. I put myself and in, stuff in storage. You know, I left Las Vegas where I was living at the time. And I, you know, I for like three months, I was on the road traveling and I kind of had an idea of where I'd be going, but I wasn't, qu you know, quite sure. And I really kind of lived life day to day. And through that trip, I did learn a lot about myself 
and it was a time of growth and change and it was something I knew I needed to do, I was called to do. So some of you might be needing to do that as well. Okay, Moonology, you are, you are good enough, full moon in Virgo. And I'm really being drawn to all the green in these cards. And that is the heart chakra. Also green about healing, about well, wellness. So again, like some of you are healers. And then also I'm getting for some of you are in need of healing. Um, and it's could be this heart chakra with all the green here. And with the, you are good enough, you might have blocks or um, issues regarding your worthiness. Okay, and for the goddess cards, I asked which goddess you need to call upon. You have Abundantia, Prosperity. The universe is pouring its abundance out to you. Be open to receiving. And again, with all that green, money green. <laughs> and if you are in your feminine energy, you are open to receiving. However, if you feel you are not good enough to receive, that's part of maybe the issue of why you're not receiving this. So you might want to call upon her and invoke that energy within to receive this prosperity. From Keepers of the Light, we have Serapis Bay Ascension. Move into your true self. Rise above the darkness. The light is here. So yeah, he's very high vibrational, deals with ascension. So definitely, like, if I talked about this pilgrimage you might need to take, this might be helping you ascend to a higher level. Also, I'm getting about clearing out lower energies, so this is why I'm also calling on him as well. So actually, I think the first time I called on him, so sometimes, you know, this is just to kind of give you an idea of the energy. So sometimes when energies move through me, my body will physically move. So say I'm sitting, my body will, you know, sometimes move in a circle, sometimes will move in the opposite direction, back and forth. I'm like a human pendulum. And so this is sometimes when I'm connecting with spirit, if I'm doing energy healing on someone, you know, say I'm on someone's chakra and, you know, I have my hands placed on them and my body starts moving. So when I contacted Serapis Bay for the first time, my like body was spinning so fast and like, and sorry, and then little circles. So instead how I might be going like this, it was like my body was really moving fast. And sorry, I know I'm not really showing that, doing that justice with the finger movements because um, I have only so much space here, but it was very, yeah, fast moving, high vibrational energy. So I'm just telling you firsthand that I have felt his energy and his presence. So if you do wish to call on him, um, you also will want to read more about him. Okay, from the Work Your Light cards, we have Lumaria, creating heaven on earth, it's happening. So they say Lumaria came before Atlantis. So this was a place of what it literally says, heaven on earth. And again, high vibrational. We also have share your voice, come out of the cave, persecution, expression. So this could be about feeling like you weren't good enough. You, I'm getting you might hold your tongue, bite your tongue. And also, if you are sensitive to energy, which I received as well, that's why you might be not wanting to come out of the cave. You could be more in hermit mode because you don't want to deal with the harsh energies out in the world. And this is maybe why you're needing to go in nature. This is maybe why you're needing to get away. Okay. We also have from the universe has your back. When I'm connected to my joyful presence, I attract support from the universe. So also I'm being drawn to how this, you know, it looks like a full moon here, but it's all yellow. So the solar plexus, again, back to issues of worthiness. So if you're connecting to your joyful presence, you're going to be attracting the support, which also you're going to be attracting this prosperity. And I'm getting, some of you don't feel settled here. So I don't know if that means, or settled. So whatever that means to you. Okay, some new cards that I just got, which are the Messages of Love Oracle cards by All Things Intuitive, which I got on Etsy. So I asked for a couple cards regarding, or a few cards regarding love messages from your Divine Masculine or Divine Masculine. So again, if you're watching this regarding the Divine Feminine side of yourself, take what resonates regarding the Divine Masculine side of you. But again, if you're Divine Feminine watching or asking about a Divine Masculine, these particular cards are regarding yours 
or a divine. So whether it's you're part of a twin flame or or even if not, if it's a divine counterpart, a divine again, divine masculine, take what resonates. So the first card we got was passion. Try something you've never done before. Then we had children. Children are important to this partnership. And go slow. Take time to get to know each other. <laughs> So already you could kind of see what is a potential theme here. So some of you might be caught up in the heat of the moment and you get pregnant or you get someone pregnant. So because again, Divine Feminine, if you watch my other videos, Divine Feminine doesn't have to mean a female. A Divine Feminine soul could be in a male or a female body. So yeah, definitely be careful. And this could be also going back to this patience and temptation. For some of you, you could actually have passion with someone, be tempted, and you're not going slow, and then bam, <laughs> children. <laughs> and even if for some of you are like, oh, I'm wanting that, but again, like, take what resonates, but this is definitely what came through. So from your chakra tarot card, we have strength. And these are dual purpose tarot as well as chakra cards. So this is the orange, um, the orange is the sacral chakra. So this deals with sexuality, desires, <laughs> emotions, and creativity. So again, we have passion here, going slow children, patience, temptation over here. So definitely like having the strength to say no, maybe holding back, making sure you're safe and protected because, um, yeah, embody your divine sexuality all you want, but you also need to be careful. And that could be part of the patience and planning because you might not see this coming and then you wind up with a little cub of your own. <laughs> and, <laughs> and again, even if you, that's something you want, I don't know. Again, take what resonates. Um, cause I, I get for some of you could be like, Oh, I'm, I'm wanting that. But for some of you who are, it's not the time for you. You're not prepared for that. This is just a message for you. And yeah, I get like for some of you who are already children because I'm hearing like my babies. So some of you could already have kids and you could be letting someone maybe in your life because you're wanting that spark back. But again, for some of you not to, you know, scare you, it could be all wrong. Meaning maybe like you need to get to know this person to see if you actually want them in your life. So again, take what resonates. But that's one message for some of you. And for some of you, it's not like this that this person's wrong. It's just, again, like, for some of you, if it's been a while, um, it's just maybe you have this imbalance in your sacral chakra, and that's why you're kind of ready to go. But again, like, especially if you have kids and, you know, they live with you, you, you just, um, you could get caught up too soon with someone, and it might not be not only in your best interest, but maybe not in their best interest. Again, take what resonates. So messages from the angels. We have Bethany. When you take care, excellent care of yourself, everybody benefits. Give yourself a relaxing treat today, such as a massage, sea salt bath, or a pedicure. So self-love and self-care. So regardless of what you think this person could give you over here, like you have to give to yourself first. Yeah, and I'm getting for some of you do have pleasure on the mind. So some of you might be even doing these things to like gear up for this person, <laughs> possibly like you're making yourself pretty for them, but make yourself pretty for you and like do those things out of self-care and self-love for you. So I hope that makes sense. Okay, and the last message is from the Psychic Tarot. You have the Accelerated Motion, which is the Eight of Wands. So again, <laughs> things moving fast and 
Harmony, which is the Lover's card, and then we have the um, Four of Pentacles, Firm Foundation. So some of you do have this lover coming in who is going to be a stable partner and that you could build something long term with that, you know, either you'll come together with with your kids or you'll have kids with them or both. But again, it's definitely things will look like they're moving fast. So I'm just cautioning you because for some of you might, if that feels right to you and you think it's everything's okay, but again, like, your first card was organization, purpose, planning, efficiency. So just be prepared more than anything. Because I think some of you, again, have been wanting this to come into fruition so badly. You might not waste any time. But yeah, I'm getting some of you do have your blinders on. And it's funny because I'm hearing about how some things not, might not come so easily. And it's funny because it's saying here, now come to me so easily. And then going back to this Divine Masculine cards, for some of you, this is a Divine Counterpart, Divine Masculine. Okay, however, there, there could be a burnout possibly. And what I mean by this is um, if you take time, you might be able to actually develop this firm foundation. Okay, that's what I'm getting. So if for some of you, it's like this person could be the person or divine counterpart. However, it's like, do you want to just move really fast and possibly deal with a fallout or a burnout? Or do you want to build on a firm foundation? And I'm also getting a healthy balance between those. So I'm not saying to you like, you know, be like um, turtle slow, but I'm saying that there needs to be a balance Okay, and for some of you I'm hearing, when I look at this card, something about I'm sorry I walked away. So some some of you could be dealing with someone re-entering your life who is saying that to you or feels that way. And maybe that's why you, you decide to move full steam ahead because you've been wanting this for a long time. But again, I'm going back to your having to nurture yourself first. And there still is this like, pilgrimage, soul discovery within yourself. Um, lessons needing to be learned. Yes, and these feeling good enough, feeling worthy. And I'm getting for a lot of you, you could do this simultaneously, like you could do it at the same time. But again, it's like saying to go slow because you could be doing these things while they're back in your life. It doesn't have to... Um, Because um, what I'm getting is you might not be as dedicated to yourself if you move fast with them. And that's that's part of the problem where there could be that fallout because you have to make sure you feel complete within yourself before you could come into union with, with yourself, before you could come in union you know, with them. Because there could be possibly be a separation again if you didn't do, you know, this... Um, healing that you needed to do. Oh, and for those of you who are healers, I'm getting that you need to clear the other people's energies. And again, like you need some time alone. Okay, and I'm getting for some of you, once you go on this pilgrimage or once you take your trip or you go do something, it's like that's when after you do take that trip or journey, again, whether it's just a soul journey within yourself where you actually go somewhere, the person's going to come in then. Okay, and I'm hearing someone could be saying, I'm not going to hold back any longer. So again, <laughs> with all this accelerated motion. So for some of you, this might not happen right away because you have to do this first. But then once this person comes back, then things are going to move forward fast. So again, take what resonates. But I hope you liked this video. If you did and it resonated, feel free to like, 
comment, share, subscribe to my channel, as well as follow me on Instagram. So now we're going to move on to pile two. Okay, so those who chose pile two or the angel aura, we have strength, strength, stability in this hour, endurance, stamina, eye, and power. Oh, okay, and it's funny because I'm hearing like, you go girl, so like, and again, like divine feminine, it could be, a divine feminine soul could be in a female or male body, or again, if this is your divine feminine side, but there's definitely this like, okay, what I'm getting to is some of you are definitely like, some of you are either balanced within your divine feminine, divine masculine energy, like, cause see how it's a female in this card, but then she's like a warrior and she's tough and strong. So I'm getting some of you are already balanced within your divine feminine, divine masculine side, but for some of you divine feminines, you could be more in your divine masculine energy. Like, you know, really tough. Okay, your Isis card, we have Queen of Heaven. The Queen of Heaven, the divine empress of the skies, acknowledges your feminine authority now as a man or a woman. You have a life path of spiritual leadership to bring qualities of mercy, compassion, and wisdom into this world. Okay, yeah, definitely I think most of you are probably in this balance because it's like, like this empress, this feminine energy, but you also have that authoritative power, which is, you know, normally associated as a masculine. Your healing cards, we have alchemy and pride. So I'm getting a time of transition. I'm also getting about this ego death, this pride, um, whatever your pain was, transforming that into love and this is the alchemy also i'm being guided to tell you talk about the violet flame and transmutation because this is what this card always reminds me of so possibly you could be a keeper of the violet flame um i'm also getting even though these cards are nothing about that i'm also getting in about channeling so some of you could be channelers or might be channeling important messages at this time from Gospel of Aradia, you have reconciliation. So someone might be coming back. For some of you, it could be about closing and ending cycles. But for some of you, I'm getting a long awaited return. And it's possible that both messages could apply. There could be one person that's in a long awaited return, one person it's a closing ending. I mean, however, in this card, it looks like a more of a harmonious reconciliation, like you're going, you're going to stay in each other's lives. But again, take what resonates. From the moonology, we have confidence is your key to success, new moon and Leo. Okay, and I just heard I am woman, hear me roar. Again, whether you're male, female, From which goddess for you to call on, we have Arakura, blossoming. You are just getting started, so have patience with yourself in the process and do not give up. Okay, so definitely some of you have that I want it and I want it now energy. You definitely could have that masculine energy because masculine side is definitely action oriented. Where the divine feminine is the receptive, is the patient energy. So definitely this divine feminines who were picked pile two, you definitely could have more of a divine masculine energy. Again, you could have a good balance, but okay. I'm also hearing opening up. So some of you do need to open up more and it's funny because blossoming like a flower. From the Keepers of Light with Elmoira, Awakening Presence, the universe is with you. Wear a cloak of protection and love. Okay, and I'm hearing like something about someone telling you like I'm not trying to strong arm you. So I don't know for who that resonates for, but I just whatever comes to my mind is what I say. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so from work you're late, we have warrior woman. Have you answered your deepest calling? So definitely we have some warrior um, chicks and dudes in this pile. <laughs> so definitely, yeah, I'm getting Joan of Arc. Okay, so for some of you like Joan of Arc, you could, like what I talked about channeling, you could have like clear audience. You could be in touch with your psychic abilities. I'm also getting guided to talk about like being wise about like your next move. And this could be partially about the patience and waiting, even if you don't want to. So then we have universe that has your back. We have I honor how I want to feel. So some of you need to step more into your feelings, um, into your feminine energy. And I'm getting some of you are resisting and telling me no. <laughs> However, if those of you who don't have trouble with this, then some of you have already honored how you felt. I'm getting some of you could have even had a breakdown recently where you cried or your emotions came through finally, or in a certain situation you had a release, but some of you maybe need to let this happen. Okay, so messages of love oracle cards that I just got by All Things Intuitive on Etsy. So I pulled a few to see about your divine masculine, whether it's your divine masculine side or it's your divine masculine counterpart, wherever, whether you're a twin flame or it's about a soulmate, divine counterpart, whichever label you want to give them. So what came up was obstacles, unhealed wounds, or blocking forward movement. It's because you all are warrior tough. <laughs> We have true love. This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. And twin flame, this divine counterpart connection. So yeah, some of you are definitely twin flames. But right now your twin flame connection or your true love, if you're not a twin flame, if this is just a divine counterpart soulmate, and not just say just, um, I'm just saying whichever you resonate with, but there's definitely obstacles keeping this from happening right now. And I'm getting something about co-creating. So you're not co-creating together. So maybe both of you have separate things you need have in mind right now or separate things you need to do. Like you both have your own path right now and both your paths aren't aligned. And part of this could be because of, yes, physical obstacles, but also obstacles like where you could be keeping each other apart. So definitely for you divine feminines who are very inner divine masculine energy, for any of you who are harboring any pain or resentment, this is could what you're needing me to let go of with this pride. Because also you have the lion here. So the Le Leo's like the pride, <laughs> pride. <laughs> so some of you need to, and that's a shadow aspect I'm getting too. Like look how in the card right here. So this is your, okay, that's too. It's funny, I was getting honoring your shadow side and I, I honor how I want to feel. So some of you have to deal with this shadow aspect of yourself and realize and accept because we all have a shadow self and it's not to we don't bypass it right we have to have love and acceptance for ourselves and realize okay this is something that's coming up for me this is something I'm being triggered by how can I handle this in a loving compassionate way Okay, so your chakra tarot card. So these can be read as tarot cards as well as cards for the chakras. So you have Knight of Swords. So with this blue, it's the throat chakra. And it's interesting because your strength card also has blue. So some of you might have issues with your throat chakra. And to say the least, I'm getting more of you could have overactive throat chakras, meaning you just say that blunt truth. Like, you know, you're... Um, I also heard you're not willing to put someone on a pile stool. Like you could knock them off, like with your <laughs> words in a sense, I'm getting like with the sort of truth. And it doesn't necessarily mean you mean this to be harmful. It's just like, you mean what you say and you say what you mean. And some people can't take that. They can't handle that blunt truth. They see it as harsh. And you know, it's like you, again, warrior strong. Like, I mean, <laughs> warrior woman, strength, you know, knight of swords. <laughs> And I'm hearing for some of you are saying that's right. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, your messages from your angels. We have Teresa. Time out. You've been so busy taking care of everyone else's needs, but now it's time to stop and take care of yourself. So again, it's very, you're in your masculine energy when you are the giver. So you need to get more in your divine feminine energy and be the receiver. So give that love to yourself first. Again, self-care, self-love. And, and then let others give to you as well. Allow yourself to accept and receive. And I'm hearing something about your greatest joy, your greatest pleasure. So for some of you, maybe like you really like love your alone time. And I'm just getting like a sigh, like, oh, like, you know, <laughs> like it's so like some of you love like the peace and quiet. The serenity is what I'm getting. Oh, you did have another work your light card that got mixed in the shuffle, lost in the shuffle. So you also have Anna, grandmother of Jesus, seeding the light, laying foundations, divine plan. So yeah, everything is happening. It's a divine timing. Okay, I'm, I'm also getting, seeing the um, good in all. So again, for some of you, it could be very tough um, on other people or yourself. And you kind of, it's like you need to see more from a loving and compassionate place. So, and it's not to say like, again, it's all about balance, right? But yeah, I'm getting like tough critic or something about harsh. So even if it's like, again, you don't mean it to be, this definitely could be something that is perceived by others. Also, some of you could yeah, have definite um, fire in your chart. Again, possible Leo, possible Sagittarius with the blunt, honest truth. Aries, even with the warrior. So definitely, all you know, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm also hearing about having faith in yourself. Okay, from the Psychic Tarot, you had the Eight of Pentacles, positive movement forward. And it's funny because I'm hearing like, you saying like, stand back, stand back. And it's like, you're like, I'm getting this vi visual of like, you know, like kind of like telling the crowd to part and then like you taking off running. And <laughs> so it's, a, it's an interesting visual, but, but then we have the star card, hope. And then I asked about what was this positive movement forward regarding this hope. So there was two different messages that came through. So we actually have the crown chakra. So, so definitely leveling up spirituality, your higher self, your ascension process. And then we also have the three of wands, partnerships and alliances. So I'm getting that this could be in both realms. It could be either or both, or it could be combined. So what I mean is some of you, it's like this positive movement forward with the star with the hope healing is regarding your crown chakra and you like ascending and rising to a higher level. And I'm also getting of commitment, but I'm getting, it could be like of commitment with yourself. Like you're very committed to yourself, which is a positive thing, right? And because you need to be committed to yourself. You need to love yourself, accept yourself before you can with anyone else. For some of you, this is about... This partnerships is regarding your work, your divine path, your divine purpose, and you're um, moving forward. And it's like you're lighting up with what you're doing. And I think for a lot of you, this is together with this crown chakra. It's like what you're doing is regarding your path and divine path and purpose and passion even is what I'm getting. Um, <laughs> all those P words. <laughs> and... And I'm also hearing conscious community. And yeah, I'm getting for some of you again, like that image where you're like telling people to step aside, like in a sense of like you're taking off and showing people what you could do. And then this is lighting you up and moving you forward. So definitely this could be like a spiritually based project or career direction you were heading. 
so yeah, definitely I feel for those in pile two, it's more about your path and purpose and your own ascension and growth right now. And because there's still obstacles regarding love. And again, this, this whole pick a card is messages for divine feminine. So it's not at all about, you know, all geared towards your divine masculine. I just threw in that little part of love, but you know, just to summarize, definitely it's more about you leveling up and working on yourself but I feel like most of you feel really good and empowered by this and great. It's just maybe you need to be a, <laughs> a little more um, in your feminine energy, a little more open, a little more receptive, a little more compassionate. But again, I feel like some of you are coming into balance slowly but surely or are, have a pretty good balance. But again, you maybe sometimes lean into your divine masculine energy more. It might be more comfortable for you. And I understand that. So... But again, take what resonates. If you liked this, if it resonated, feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel, as well as follow me on Instagram, The Magical Maven. So now we're going to move on to pile three. So pile three, if you choose the Apophyllite with the Stillbite in it. Yeah. So let's see. So this is what issues you might have or what you need to focus on, work on. We have health, Mother Earth sweet, Mother Earth bright, bring to me health and might. So health doesn't just mean physical health. You know, we have physical health, we have mental health, we have emotional health, we have spiritual health. We have, you know, all four bodies, you know, so if one has issues, then the other ones will start following suit, right? So just pay attention to your health, uh, make sure you're getting a hold on that, whichever that means for you personally, because everybody's going to be different since this is a collective message. Your Isis card, we have Temple of Lapis Lazuli. Your soul is very ancient and holds the wisdom of star peoples from civilizations with unique high vibrational awareness that can help humanity transition from a culture based in fear to a love based community. You are here on this planet to be you to the fullest extent possible. Then you will help heal human culture so that the planet may thrive. So some of you getting a hold of this health is because you are natural born healers. And some of you, it's like, have you, if you've ever heard of the wounded healer, it's what you have healed from, what you've gone through is able to help others. So that's one message I'm getting. Also, for those of you who are having health issues, you might want to look into buying some lapis to work with this stone because it is good for um, immune system support. So um, for example, I wear a lapis bracelet. I mean, lapis is for many different things, but that is one, you know, um, lapis is for many physical ailments. So if you're are, are having any um, physical limitations, you might wanna look um, into seeing more about this stone. A good site that I recommend is healingcrystals.com. They have a directory as well as you could, you know, purchase from them. And let's see what else. And then also, yeah, what it's saying about your soul is very ancient and holds the wisdom of star people. So definitely some of you could resonate as what is known as a star seed. And it's interesting right now because Okay, so some of you could be having health issues regarding um, limitations, um, you know, mentally. So yeah, your mental health could have issues. So, you know, even that, if that's something is, it could be something as simple as all the way to the extreme. It, again, it takes what resonates. So it could be, you know, anxiety or it could be, you know, um, it doesn't even have to be like a mental health issue. It could be something where your mental mind could be creating blockages for you. Also with the lapis, um, some of you might have throat chakra issues and the lapis could be helpful for you. Okay, I'm hearing out of this world. So for so those of you who are star seeds, some of you could have issues feeling grounded. You might feel um, spacey or dizzy sometimes or maybe right now even. So maybe some of you are like, oh, what's going on with me? 
but maybe, so if you are feeling dizzy or spacey, it's not actually a health issue. It could be that you are maybe going processing some energetic downloads or upgrades or, sorry, I'm trying to get what else is coming through. I'm hearing you're becoming lighter, so it could be something with your light body. So yeah, some of you also might need to be grounded if you're feeling very more connected to the universe and being a starseed and you're not so here grounded on earth and you're feeling like out of it spacey. So some of you, that could be something. There's a lot of different messages that are coming from these. So again, take what resonates. So from the Heal Yourself cards, it's interesting because a bunch of cards kept wanting to fly out. So I feel like for this pile, if you chose this pile, there are a lot of different messages that were trying to come through, but I was trying to just hone it down to a few cards or a couple cards. So um, definitely the inner child came out. So some of you are dealing with inner child wounds. Um, some of you aren't wanting to deal with them and that's what's coming up. And you're like, why am I having this issue or you're being triggered? Chances are you could root it back to your childhood and that's, you'll want to get to the root cause because then once you get to the root cause, you can work on healing this. And yeah, I'm getting some of you um, were in fear as a child. Maybe you stood out and you didn't like that or you were criticized heavily. I'm also getting fear of the unknown. So maybe some of you didn't have stability as a child and there was this fear of un the unknown to you. I'm hearing something about I don't didn't have anything to reference. So again, you'll have to take that if that resonates for you. But again, there's a lot of different things that could re resonate with your inner child wounds and nurturing and healing. Also, we got the wild card. So definitely, like... For some of you, it's about needing to free yourself of these past wounds because harboring those things, you're not able to move forward with your life. And look how she's like moving on in the boat. So some of you are needing to be wild and free by releasing these things. And it's interesting because she's wearing all this red and red is the color of the root chakra. And that's, you know, about our needs being met or, you know, like our... Um, so maybe some of you felt you weren't supported as a kid or maybe financially you didn't feel supported. Like maybe you came from like little to no money and maybe you have blocks to abundance because of that. Also like with fight versus flight with this fear I'm getting some of you could have felt cowardly because maybe there was someone you were afraid of as a kid. But it wasn't, you know, it's not nothing to be ashamed of or to feel cowardly for. So it's like you need to free yourself of these things to move forward in your life. I'm also getting some of you need to get in touch with your inner child, wants and needs. Meaning you need to let loose and be wild and free because everything might feel like a burden where it's like everything as an adult, you're like, okay, I have this responsibility. I have this to do. I have that to do. Oh, I need to do this. I need to take care of that. And it's like, okay, well, you don't have any playtime. You're not having any enjoyment in life. And this is where you're needing to like let loose more so. And I was getting some about the stakes being high. So some of you might be feeling like, no, I can't do that because the stakes too high because I, again, I got to do this. I got to do that, this, that, and the other. But again, like I'm being guided to tell you that there are excuses. So even if you don't want to hear that, it's like, this is what you're needing to do to heal. So if you pick this pile and this is resonating, this is just because you were meant to hear this. Okay, we're going to keep moving forward with the cards and then other things might come out once I have them all out. So from Gospel of Radio, you have the Gospel and Hierarchy. So again, with what I was saying is that 
Okay, some of you could have come from a strict household. Again, going back to inner child, you could have been afraid of someone or something. Okay, I was getting some of being disheveled. So some of you might have been criticized because maybe, again, if there was issues where your family didn't have money, you could have went to school looking disheveled and that created a wound because you felt rejected. <clears throat> again, I know that that's very specific. So again, take what resonates. If it's not you, it's it wasn't your story, it wasn't your story. Um, <clears throat> I just always say what comes through. Also, I'm getting that some of you need to throw this rule book out. You need to let yourself off the hook. Again, going back to this wild. There's things that maybe you've apologized for that you shouldn't be saying sorry for. And and I, yeah, I'm getting like that you need to let up. You need to let yourself off the hook. So you might be taking on this false responsibility. Like there's certain like guilt or shame wounds that you have that it's like not even your fault or your baggage. And again, like this could be something ancestral even because with the baggage, it might not even have been you, but you took it on. And I'm getting about, yeah, something about it's time now to clear it out. And I'm getting for some of you, you know the answers, you just don't want to hear the answers. Okay, for Moonology, we have Full Moon in Pisces, Balanced Spirituality and Practicality. So again, I got for some of you, you're not balanced in the sense of you maybe, too, some of you are very foregone in the spiritual realm. Like again, like I said, if those of you are star seeds, you could be very out there, like up in the, you know, stars up, you know, like, you know, not just hiding the clouds, but hiding the stars pretty much. And you need to come down to earth more and balance out. And for some of you, okay, that could be why some of you maybe aren't getting things done because you're a little lost and, you know, other dimensions is what I'm getting you at. Um, for some of you, it could be the other extreme. Some of you, even if you are, it could be star seeds or resonate with that. You are so trapped here on earth and can't access your spirituality because you have these root chakra blocks so some of you are one extreme and some are you the other and you're having to balance nonetheless and some of you might not have a complete like opposite like that but for some of you watching it's like you're one extreme of the other and some of you might just be trying to come into balance with this and it's like you could be like a little bit of both Um, I'm getting for some of you, you could be like rigid or have issues with rigidness. So um, that was just one message coming through. And it wasn't a particular card. It was just what came out. Okay, let's look at your goddess card to what goddess you should connect with. You have Mary Magdalene, unconditional love. Love yourself, others, in every situation, no matter what the outward appearances may be. So you probably want to call upon her because, again, especially if you have these inner childhood wounds, where you didn't feel loved, supported, nurtured. You need someone with this loving divine feminine energy, like Mary Magdalene or Mother Mary, and calling upon them to give you, to help bring that love to you and yourself. And it starts with you first, you know, having that love. Okay, I'm getting for this, again, the take what resonates. Some of you really don't feel loved and again this could be go back to childhood or you didn't feel loved but it's like you have to love yourself first and then the love will flow outward and that could be why you are not attracting love and that's just not to say romantic that could just be people in general because your inward is reflecting outward so if you're not feeling loved and you feel like you never have that whether you did or didn't that's causing your outward reality. And I do want to let you know you're loved and supported. Okay. 
Okay, I'm also getting an additional me message if some of you need to take time away from something or someone. So again, take what resonates, whether that's a relationship, a situation. So your keeper of the light card is Lady Venus downloads and understanding. Okay, so that's funny that I actually said downloads. So it says truth is being revealed. Deep insights are coming from heaven in the astral realm. So if some of you are feeling spacey, that's why, because you were receiving these downloads. So some of you need, to, if you're feeling this way, you do need to ground to Mother Earth. So Venus also talking about the, you know, the planet of love. So again, that kind of makes sense with what I was picking up about some of you. There could be some of you that could needing to be walk away, but we'll see if anything else comes like that. Again, take what resonates. Again, like talking about giving that love to yourself first. Okay, I'm getting for some of you getting a heart, like a heart upgrade. Like a heart chakra. And then we also have the higher heart chakra as well. I'm getting something about beyond belief. So again, if you're not um, allowing this because you're not believing, that's kind of part of the issue as well. Okay, let's look at the work your light. So we have align your life, what is not aligned or needs to change. So again, look up how scattered she is. We also have you are already doing it, stop overthinking, keep facing your true north. So again, like I said, some of you, there's these mental blocks, mental issues. So whether, again, it doesn't have to be a, like a actual mental um, health issue. It could just be something as overthinking or self-doubt or, you know, something like that. But, I mean, for, for some of you, it could be, you know, anxiety or depression or, you know, take what it, with what, it, what you will. But some of you just need to get out of your head. And also, the powers like of the mind, like the thinking, the logic, that's very masculine energy. So, so this being a Divine Feminine reading, so whether you are a Divine Feminine soul or this is your Divine Feminine side, there definitely is a lack of this Divine Feminine energy. So this is also a good reason to call on Mary Magdalene, Mother Mary, like those with that unconditional loving presence to help you get in touch with you know, you being a Divine Feminine or your Divine Feminine side. So some of you, like, are, like, moving forward with your goals and are on your path to success or with what you're trying to do. So that's why it's telling you're already doing it. It's just some of you um, might be second-guessing yourself. Or success might be on the outward appearance, but internally, you might be not be feeling as well because of these inner child issues, things you need to let yourself off the hook of, needing to be more loving, compassionate towards yourself, having this balance. So again, take what resonates. Not everything might resonate, but. So the universe has your back. I always trust the direction of the universe and know I'm being guided. So again, if you had trust, you would know you're supported. And I'm um, calling your support team. So your spirit guides, your angel, angels, whoever you call to, pray to. And this isn't for everybody, but there could be someone watching that's like saying, I'm not really sure what I believe or what I believe anymore. So at least have that belief in yourself, your higher self. Okay, I'm also hearing about gut feelings. So honor your gut feelings. And I just want to stress that there's a difference between your intuition and a gut feeling versus fear coming up. Because there is a difference. You could be feeling what you think is a gut feeling, but it's actually fear. So it's like you might need to learn how to decipher between them. Because some of you might feel like you're having a gut feeling about something. But really, it's this like um, these triggers that are happening. Okay, but for some of you, it could actually be a gut feeling. So again, you have to take what resonates because we have your messages of love oracle cards from All Things Intuitive that I got from Etsy. This is my latest deck. So I looked up some love messages for you Divine Feminines. 
whether this is your divine masculine or or a divine masculine whether you're a twin flame or it's regarding a divine counterpart soulmate or your divine masculine side so we had friendship this friendship is leading to more warning don't dismiss the red flags here and integrity does this situation align with your values and morals so it's interesting because we have the word align twice so there could be very well someone who is in your life that might be preventing you from moving forward because you might not be at the same vibrational level and or you're trying to level up but if you're around someone and again they're not the same you know not to say someone's better than someone else but there are different vibrational levels so if this person isn't on the same level as you you might have issues moving forward on your path as the divine feminine as a light worker and it might be like saying okay regardless they might not be a bad person they just might not really align with your highest path and purpose so it possibly could be a friend or someone around you. So the red flags here, take what resonates, whether this is actually someone you need to be aware of and is toxic, or it could just be like this friendship or this person, this friend or this person around you, you might be getting signs that no, this isn't the right person for you. Even if they're, you know, not a bad person, they're just maybe not what's for your highest path and purpose. And you might be attracting this person again because okay, I don't I hope I don't hurt anyone by saying this, but some of you might have attracted someone if they are someone who's not like a if they could be more of like a let's see, I'm trying to get what word to say. Okay, so for those of you who might feel more down or lower about yourself you you question your worth you might not feel worthy of love you are attracting this person because they notice that so they could be trying to take advantage if they're a toxic person or even if they're not they don't mean to be they're not a bad person they might just not again be for your highest good like you're just could be settling or downgrading in some way. And not to say, again, not to say someone's above you, below you, you know, what have you. However, there is definitely this question that needs to be posed. Is this person right for you and where you wish to go and be in your life? And are they for your highest path and purpose? And the universe might be showing you signs. And I'm getting for some of you, they could be clear, blatant signs. Like, no, like, this shouldn't step beyond a friendship or beyond acquaintance because they aren't going to level up or you're not going to level up if you have them in your life. And again, take what resonates. Okay, now it's weird because I'm hearing storm warning and I'm hearing like a siren. So some of you, this could actually be someone who's toxic. And maybe you will get a gut feeling and that that's your way like you could even feel a stomach ache when you're with them and it's like there's something that you don't feel right about and it's because your body's trying to get your attention not to let this person in so again take what resonates not everybody ha you know there's different situations coming through from the chakra wisdom deck so this serves as tarot as well as the colors are the colors of the chakras so you got red. So again, going back to the root chakra, you have blocks in the root chakra because at first, so I only pulled one card for each, but you had two that came out right together and it was important to use both. So we have the Ace of Wands, but then we have the Eight of Swords. So like I said, some of you with this, you're already doing it card. Like you have moved forward on your path with this new beginning, a new business venture, you know, maybe you moved to a new town, you started a new passion project, whatever, like whatever um, is this fresh energy, new beginning that you've allowed yourself. However, it's like some of you are on the outskirts of it. It's like you're trying to come here. Some of you are already doing this, but look at like this eight of swords. 
And it's interesting in this deck how she's outside of the mirror, but in the mirror, she has all the swords around her and she's blindfolded. So the self-imprisonment, it's like, oh, and remember what I said about outward and inward. So on the outward, things might seem fine for you, but internally, this is how you feel. And you need to balance and you need to like have your outward match your inward, but you have to go inward to affect, <laughs> it, it kind of goes both ways, like. And I am getting like some of you don't feel like you have clear direction, but again, it's going back to like these mental limitations. Okay, and I'm hearing about some of you harboring guilt. So again, like what guilt are you holding on to? What are you apologizing for? What are you sorry about? Because, yeah, you need to do right by yourself and move on. You know, forgive yourself. Forgive the other people. Okay. From your messages from the angels, you have Maya. Schooling, study, and education help your life's purpose and personal growth at this time. The angels will guide you and help you with this process. So some of you, this Ace of Wands could be like, you know, going back to school or going to school for the first time in college or... This could be about um, a master program or an area of study where you're being certified for something, but it doesn't have to mean like, you know, actual school. Like, for example, I took classes and was certified in energy healing. So it could be anything like that. For some of you, this could be like self-education, like maybe you are taking it upon yourself to learn something new or to learn more. For some of you, if you're going to, into business, or you're like an entrepreneur, there's things that you're needing to re research or learn more about to help you excel. For some of you, this could be about the school of life, the, the school of hard knocks, like, you know, you trying to, okay, I'm hearing someone about decipher the codes. Okay, it's weird. I mean, this weird message of more is less, but I don't know what that means. Okay, maybe it'll make sense to one of you out there. And okay, I'm going to continue. Your psychic tarot cards, we have Destiny, which is the Wheel of Fortune. And then we have Obstacles and Challenges, the Five of Wands, and the Six of Cups, Memories of Love. So again, remember I talked about some of you have these inner child wounds. These could be these the Six of Cups energy, the Memories of Love. It doesn't, it can actually be about like your childhood and you're having these obstacles and barriers coming up. And so again, some of you might not know where they're coming from, but they're coming from childhood or they're coming from your family or your ancestors. And it's to you to complete this karmic cycle for you to move forward. And I, I'm getting some of you are telling me you don't know. But again, remember over here, I said for some of you have the answers, but you don't want to know, or you don't think you know, but you know. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm definitely hearing you're being tested. Okay, and I'm hearing them like saying for you to stop struggling. And I'm being like shown like that they're telling you to like sit and just look. So yes, for some of you, you need to be more observant. Okay, I'm getting but going back to closing out a cycle. Okay, I'm also getting something about mirroring. So you might be mirroring someone or they might be mirroring you. And there was this meme one time I saw and it said that if you're aware every person is a mirror is a teacher. 
So sometimes the things we see like in another person that we don't like or it's a fault or triggers us, it's because it's something within ourselves that we're needing to look at and that's why it's being mirrored at us. Okay, so that are your messages for my divine feminines who chose pile three. If you liked this, if it resonated, feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel, The Magical Maven, as well as follow me on Instagram, The Magical Maven. And I just want to say that, you know, again, like, know that you are lovable, you are loved, and you are love. And you don't need anybody else to give you this. So I hope that made sense. Okay, so now we're going to move on to pile four. So those who choose pile four are the rose quartz. So for what um, issues you might be having or what you need to focus on, you actually have new beginnings. Let this magic in my spell clear the space in which I dwell. So you need to focus on new beginnings. Or you have a new beginning coming. So where it talks about clear the space, some of you might just need to clear of what doesn't serve you and your highest path and purpose first before you could allow this to come in. Um, to come in. And I'm really being drawn to the 44 number in this card. I don't always look at card numbers, but right now I'm looking at it. And then also if you take four plus four, that is the vibration of eight. And eight is, you know, it's the affinity symbol and it is success. So for some of you, this could be about like a business venture. Your Isis card. We have Miracle of Isis. Isis offers a miracle healing. No matter how much you have struggled with a particular matter, no matter how impossible it may seem to imagine your life without this old wound, addiction, problem, relationship, or inner struggle being part of it, you are guided now to accept the possibility of miraculous healing. Let go and let the goddess be. So again, you're having to clear out and let go to have this new beginning. So what story are you still telling yourself that is no longer your story? You can't go to the next page if you keep rereading the one you're on. You can't read the next book if you haven't finished the book you're on, you know, that kind of thing. And also for some of you, this could be about your divine counterpart because in this, she's with Osiris, which is her divine counterpart, her divine masculine. So, so for some of you, this is about, yeah, your divine counterpart, issues with them. So this could be a possible new beginning with them or a new chapter. For some of you, this is about the like balancing the divine feminine, divine masculine sides of yourself and coming into union with yourself. And once you do and you let go of the old, you're going to have a new beginning in your life. And it could be both as well. So what you need to heal from, we have pay attention to the signs. So you are being guided by the universe. You have their support. So you just have to look. And also you have to look within with, within yourself as well. For some reason, I'm hearing like you're a master of your own fate. You also have how teachable are you? So I always see this and like <laughs> normally here you can't teach an old dog, dog new tricks. And I'm not calling anyone old. I mean, this is just, you know, is what is coming through. And w when I see this card most times, I, I normally hear that message. So sometimes when we're complacent for too long or, you know, it's like, like nothing's new. We have this same old, same old. It could sometimes be hard to branch out. It could sometimes hard to, you know, move forward with any kind of change because... Okay, I'm getting that you're being guided to take up sword or make take action. So some of you, it could be something it, like this, how teachable, you might have to put effort towards something or start something or change something that is completely out of your element. And this is how teachable are you. But you're going to be guided to what you need to do, what you need to work on. And I'm seeing like the image of like someone knocking on your head and like, Spirit, I just asked me, like, are you in there? 
And now I'm getting, oh, now I'm hearing Comfortably Numb by Pink Floyd. Because you know how he says, hello, is there anybody in there? Just not if you can hear me, is there anybody home? So you might want to listen to that song. So some of you could have felt comfortably numb for too long. And this is why it's hard for you to step into this new beginning because you're comfortably numb and you need to get out of this. But again, pay attention to the signs. Open yourself up to receiving the signs. Sorry about that, my camera stopped filming. So, <laughs> so going back into your reading. So you have Taboo for your Gospel of Radia card. Okay, I'm hearing that you don't need to prove yourself to anyone but you. Okay, and I'm also getting Garden of Eden from this card, is what I heard. Okay, so like Eve, it's like you need to bite into that apple. So maybe something you are, it's a new beginning for you, is something that someone or people could be cautioning you to, like, you know, like the Garden Eden or like, so maybe someone or some people around you don't support it, or maybe it's something unique, it's different, it's taboo, like it says in the card. And yeah, I'm definitely getting you have to walk away from something. And some of you are going to find this challenging because what you're walking away from, it, this could be like a difficult matter. This isn't for everybody. For some of you, it could be possibly walking away from a marriage or like a family situation because you weren't happy. But that's not for everybody. Like this new beginning, there's different new beginnings coming in for, you know, um, because multiple people are watching this. But that's one thing that I got. I'm also getting cultivating magic. You see, like, there's the full moon behind her and then she has, like, the blood on her hands. And then, like, the flower opening. And I'm getting it like opening to life and abundance. So for some of you, this again could be about work, about this abundance. For some of you, this could be a child. So for some of you, this could this is another thing too. Some of you might want to have a child, and for whatever reason, some people could be telling you not to. Like one instance is a matter of age because, you know, what they tell, you know, women who are 35 that you're already having a geriatric pregnancy, like who came up with that? <laughs> but anyways, this is just, again, whoever this resonates for, but this has a lot of meanings, but it's like whatever you're stepping into is something taboo. It's something different. It's something that people might reject and not accept, but you don't need anybody's approval but your own. So if you know this aligns with you and your highest path and purpose in your soul and it makes you happy, and it's like you're not doing any harm. It's like no harm, no foul. However, it's like people might question you, might question your motives, might question what you're doing, but just let them, you don't owe anybody an explanation for the most part. Okay, moonology. Luck is on your side, new moon in Sagittarius. So yeah, with that bow and arrow, you're going, or you will be going for what you're wanting. Luck is in your side. Yeah, I'm getting some of you with Sagittarius, like, definitely needing to take a risk. Being optimistic, being positive about moving forward. Knowing that the universe has your back. And we're, we're, we'll actually pull Universe Has Your Back card. Here, I'm going to do that now, even though it wasn't in the order. But it's funny because I heard Universe Has Your Back. So we'll see what it says. So this is what it says. There is a stream of love supporting my dreams. So yeah, what did I just say? Like, you're supported by the universe. To hell with what anyone thinks. If this is your for your greater good, your highest path and purpose, this is what's going to make you happy. And you're not hurting anyone. 
And that's not to say, you know, again, some people like, like I said, with the one instance, if some of if someone is married, yeah, like there could be someone hurt by that. But ultimately, it's to their benefit, because if you're not happy, like that person deserves some to be with someone that, you know, wants to be with them, right? Just like, and vice versa. So And also I want to be guided to be like, to tell you that someone's happiness is not your responsibility. Okay, and it's funny because now I'm getting like the stream of love. I was seeing like a rainbow color shooting out and then I was getting like the Care Bears. So you could be very caring and this is maybe sometimes why. Oh yeah, people could yeah, definitely get in way of your plans. So it could be because if you're caring towards people, you end up using a lot of your energy on other people. So you might need to pull your energy from them and they could notice this and they might feel it's unfair, but it's not unfair. It's just that you now are choosing to focus on your own life, your own dreams, your own path, and you can't always be their caregiver. And not to say that you're, you know, their actual caregiver, but you know what I'm talking about, right? Okay, so the goddess that you should call on is the butterfly made in transformation. You are experiencing enormous change right now, which brings great blessings. So very interesting. You had a butterfly in the new beginnings, and then you have the butterfly maiden. And I did not pick these out. I was shuffling for each pile, and these were the ones that came out. I did not shuffle on camera because, as you could see, I'm using many decks, and that would have taken you longer than this video already is. So I did pull them before. <coughs> so, but again, transformation. Okay, I'm, I'm also healing, um, hearing that you're healing from inside out. So this transformation is within, and I'm, yeah, getting coming out of your shell. So you're going to radiate in ways that people aren't, that are unknown to other people. And this is going to challenge them because you are on a whole different level. You're on a higher level. You're taking flight. You're, look at all these colors and rays of light. And people aren't going to know maybe how to handle you or deal with you because, and I'm, I'm just getting this image of like walking down like a pathway and just like, the wind's kind of like blowing through your hair and like people just like turning and looking. But it's like you're not meaning to do it. It's just this is your going to be your energy. Okay, now I'm hearing that song. Oh, what is it called? That supermodel song by RuPaul. Because I didn't see like walking down a runway, but that's pretty much what it was like in the vision. Okay, so your keepers of the light card, we have the Miriam, sacred vision. Choose to forgive in order to heal. See the light in all. Remember that love has no boundaries. So they say this could is actually, um, could be like the twin flame card even. So again, this could be about whether this is balancing within your divine feminine, divine masculine sides, or this healing is regarding with your um, twin flame or divine counterpart and it's like you're needing to heal you're needing to forgive to move forward so some of you could be having a new beginning with them like a new chapter and that doesn't necessarily mean you could be getting back together this could mean that you're choosing to love and accept each other whether that's in your each other's lives or not whether that's as friends whether that's in a relationship whatever that makes sense to you. For some of you, I'm getting that you could be surpassing your divine counterpart, meaning that you are leading this transformation and they still need to catch up. Because typically the divine feminines, even though the divine masculine is the leader, is the one that takes action, typically the divine feminine is the one that leads by example and then the divine masculine catches up and again take what resonates for you but that's typically when you you know hear things about divine feminine and divine masculine typically it's that the divine feminine is typically the more awakened one okay and it's funny i just got a vision again of like looking at this and then i 
got this image of like you blinking and like real quick and opening your eyes and being like almost shocked. Okay, so then we have your work your light oracle cards. You have break the chain, ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. So again, again, you have to let go and free yourself of the past. What are you clutching to? I was hearing about forgiveness. So again, there is this forgiveness needed. And I'm also getting self-forgiveness. And with this ancestral patterns, it could be like forgiving them too. Like if some of you know, like, oh, I've, I'm doing this ancestral healing and you're like, damn, this, you know, such and such person or these people, you know, you know, that I'm having to deal with this, you know, carnage from. So just forgive all people and parties involved, whoever, wherever there's forgiving needed, just give the forgiveness, do yourself a favor send out that love, break the chain. And that's what I'm getting, like breaking the chain with love. Like as you're sending it out, again, with that Care Bear stare and it's just breaking the chain. <laughs> okay, and then you have awakening, energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration. So yeah, some of this new beginning, again, this is about your awakening. You And not to say that those of you aren't awakened already, but it's awakening to an even higher level of consciousness. So and for some of you, this is the main new beginning is this awakening. And once you do this, everything will like, like a domino effect, like fall into place. And again, for some of you, this is goes on different levels with this new beginning. But again, I think it's because this happens, this transformation within yourself, this oh, being awakened further, and then everything else falls in suit. Okay, and I'm also going to with the taboo card now looking at it. Some people, if you kind of talk about what you've gone through spiritually or what you experience, some people could think you're crazy and this could be this taboo. And I just want to say that those aren't your people. And it's not to say that you can't have them in your life, but this, those aren't your people that you discuss those spiritual metaphysical matters with because they don't know what you're talking about. Some of them, you know, might want to commit you when you try to explain those things. Not what that they would really, but they might think that. Okay, so I got my latest deck was this Messages of Love Oracle Cards by All Things Intuitive that I got on Etsy. So I looked to see a few love messages to see, because I this is mainly about the Divine Feminine. I didn't want to focus too much on love, but I did pull a few love cards. So whether this is regarding your Divine Masculine, a Divine Masculine, or again, if this is regarding your Divine Feminine side, this is just, you know, bringing that Divine Masculine energy within. So what we have was past life love. Your soul remembers this intense connection. Denial, detach with love to clearly see the truth. And release, radical acceptance and surrender can help you and let go. Okay. So with breaking the chain, remember some of you have, this is regarding a past life love. So past life lovers come back and we have karmic connections and um, karma we need to work out with them. And they're not relationships that we want, you know, to be in long, you know, throughout our life. You know, obviously we want to learn whatever lessons and then get to move on to something healthier, something, you know, loving and reciprocal, you know, meaning, you know, both parties give and take. And, you know, with karmic relationships, you know, it's, they're there for the basis of healing and growth. So if you've been in karmic relationships, what you all have, and you know what I mean by that, you will know that <laughs> it's not, these connections aren't easy. You know, later you can walk away and be like, why did I ever date that person? Why did I, you know, what did I ever see in that person? But it's because you felt that pull to them because you had some past life karma. Or if it wasn't with them, it could be a karmic connection coming in to resolve that karma again from a past life. And I just want, I'm guided to talk to you about this 
there was this meme I saw recently and it talked about how you meet someone, you're sure you've, you know, known each other in a past life. And then two weeks later, you realize you haven't kept in touch for 2000 years. So some of you might have experienced this recently, or if not recently, there could be someone who still feels tethered to you at an energetic etheric level. So you might need to do some cord pulling. Also, it could not necessarily have to mean past life love. It could be someone within your, um, in this life, but who is from the past. And maybe whether you don't want to release them, they don't want to release you, or it's both. Again, it could just be strictly energetic. But this detaching could be this core pulling exactly what I'm talking about, about detach with love to clearly see the truth. Because sometimes once you cord pull and once you clear your energy and get away from that person and their energy, you will realize that it's not really love. You know what I mean? And this release, exactly. So some of you definitely have one, some maybe two, some maybe more. And that's the breaking the chains. And it's funny because now I'm hearing the chain by Fleetwood Mac. <laughs> and, it, and now, and, you know, the part where she's singing Keep Us Together. Oh my God, that's so funny because I talked about earlier about some of you might be married to someone and you're trying to get away from this. So some of you, again, this chain, it's like, I think for the most part, someone's attaching onto you or are trying to attach again onto you. And it's like, it's not your problem if they didn't learn their lessons from this relationship. They didn't have their growth. They didn't have their awakening. That's not on you. If you if they no longer serve your highest path and purpose, you no longer want them in your life, you don't need to have them in your life. You know, you don't need obligation friends or lovers or, you know what I mean? So you need this releasing. So some of you just need to do energy clearing and clear. I'm getting to like clear that energy away. And I'm getting like, like swatting away, exactly. Like someone holding onto your leg and you trying to kick it off, like that energy. Yeah, closing out cycles. Because this could be impacting you from finding love because your energy is still enmeshed with someone from your past. And some of you, this person from the past, also you could have past life, you know, ties too. Okay, your chakra tarot card. So this is serves as tarot as well as the colors representing the chakras. So you have the three of swords. So this is the card of heartbreak. So look how the swords are in her heart. So these the swords could each actually um, even represent, you know, three different um, lovers even and you're having to clear these three. But it's not for all, because the three of cards, it's, uh, swords itself represents heartbreak. However, she doesn't look in this card so heartbroken. And the yellow represents the solar plexus chakra. So the solar plexus deals with our personal power, our will, our confidence, our worthiness. So, and also issues with this, you know, whether it's self-doubt or self-criticism, but it also could be on the other side of the coin, like ego. So some of you, any maybe heartbreak or betrayal that was there, you might not be dealing with it in the healthiest manner, meaning you're not... Some of you might not be dealing with it all. You're just saying, oh, it doesn't affect me. You know, you're trying to be proud. You're trying to, you know, convince yourself that it doesn't get to you. For others of you, it's not about that at all. For some of you, it's just about, like, if it's not that you have any of this pain in your heart chakra, it's that these lovers are, like, could even be, like, throwing daggers at you in a sense, meaning that... With psychic attack, if someone's mad at you, whether they mean to or not, they could psychically attack you, right? So you want to protect your energy. So some of these lovers could be, you know, sending harmful, you know, 
you know, again, whether they mean to or not, but they might be, you know, pissed at you. And you could possibly be suffering the backlash of that, energetically speaking. And this could be um, someone that's mad to you or, again, mad um, towards you or even more than one because you have chosen to take your power back. Because maybe now you are in, like, have a more balanced, healthy solar plexus chakra and you're like, no, I'm not going to tolerate this, that, or the other. And you aren't affected. So this heart isn't even your heart, but they're trying to, like, get to you and you're like, nope. So I'm actually forgetting for some of you, this is empowering for you. Yeah, for some of you, I'm getting it came and went. And it's just like, but at an energetic level, they're still trying to get to you or harboring some pain or resentment, especially if you've chosen to step in your power, set boundaries, cut someone off. So if your solar plexus is good, but you still want to clear your energy and maybe um, see if you need to clear any psychic attack, you could do that with Archangel Michael and Archangel Raphael. Or however, for those of you who do still have this heart pain, you just might not be dealing with it and you have to. But I, you probably need to do the clearing as well. That's what I'm getting. And for some of you, I'm getting you're hearing, like I'm hearing you telling me no. So again, that could be a possible ego blocking you. And I mean, if it doesn't resonate, it doesn't resonate. But sometimes like we might not want to hear certain things. Okay, it's really interesting because I'm looking at this card closer. And I swear it looks like there's an eye right here. And I was like, what is this? Okay. Yeah, so it looks like an eye to me. And I've never noticed that before. So some of... um. So it's possible this person or persons are spying on you even. Okay, so moving on from that. <laughs> Clearing out that bad juju. If it is bad juju. But I mean, again, like, take what resonates. Okay, but this is powerful. And then you have, and positive. Messages from the angels you have, Shanti. I'm the angel of peace. I bring you tranquility and a smoother road ahead. So yeah, I think for some of you, like, you're not letting those, like, people or past lovers influence you anymore and it is showing peace but again you just might need to clear your energy and like um lift any psychic attack okay your psychic tarot cards you first got discontentment and boredom the four of cups so what did i talk about in the very beginning or over here this is where we got it, about comfortably numb so for some of you you are bored and discontent with life you might not be seeing a new way out but there is a new beginning because your next two cards was the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords. Prosperity begins, <laughs> begins and triumphant success. So you just need to clear the energy and let go of whatever is keeping you stuck and comfortably numb. And then you have these new beginnings. And I'm meaning for some of you need to be clear cut. And yeah, so limit things, cut things out. But then you have this new beginning and this growth, like, it's like you're building a foundation for some of you, like, a, you know, a home. For some of you, it, yeah, this relationship even. But we're not necessarily seeing the new relationship because of these past energies. Not that it's not there. I think a lot of you are coming into union with yourself first. And then what happens after that could, you know, it's just like there's still this past energy that you need to clear out. And I was literally getting this movie, like, motion of clearing it out. Okay, I'm getting, um, I'm hearing for some of you, like, someone's going to get their karma. And I think it's about, like, a person from your past. So they might be able to see something clearer. Oh, and also I do want to um, note that love did come out a lot more in this like certain piles there were certain more themes and it's interesting because you picked the rose quartz 
So some of you might want to work with rose quartz on your heart chakra if you feel like you still need to, um, if there's heart chakra work you need to do. Yeah, I, mean, I keep hearing elevate. And then also, my body will move with energy sometimes. You know, like I'm a pretty much a human pendulum. And right now, I'm like, I know you can't see me, but my body is moving kind of like a wave in the ocean, but it's very calm. Which is really interesting with this Shanti and peace. Okay, and I do want to tell you too, like, I have a bunch of different crystals and stones that I have and I've worked with, and the motion that, that, like, the way my body's moving right now, like a wave, when I first got a piece of Laramar, I, I was kind of moving like this. So some of you might want to pick up a piece of Laramar. Hold on, let me grab it real quick. This is what it looks like. This beautiful blue. And, and when I got this piece, I mean, it's for many different uses. Um, if you wanna look on healingcrystals.com, I always look on there for, they have a directory. And I mean, you can purchase from them as well but I love that they have a wealth of information on there. But when I bought this, I was traveling actually, and I was really drawn to, you know, this piece. I mean, I love this these, this color, like, like the blue greens I really love. And the woman told me that one of the things that it helps with is drawing like a soulmate or twin flame to you. And so I'm getting that for some of you, that this could again be about um, a divine counterpart, a, soul, a soulmate, a twin flame. And some people say this is the stone of Atlantis. So some of you could have even had a past life there. Okay, I think that's it for your reading. So now we're gonna move on to pile five. So if you liked this video, if it resonated, feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel, as well as follow me on Instagram, The Magical Maven. And I thank you for your support. Okay, last but not least, we have pile five. So if you choose pile five or the sodalite, Raw sodalite piece. So what issues you're having, what you need to focus on. We have authenticity. Who I truly am is good indeed. I am authentic in thought, word, and deed. So some of you might be struggling with being authentic. And that's not to say that you aren't authentic, but you might be not showing yourself in your truest form or capacity. You might be playing it small. You might only be revealing like parts of yourself to others. Some of you might not want to be scrutinized, is what I'm hearing. So your Isis message, we have spirit of Isis, beloved initiate. There are times to surrender and let go, but there are never times to give up. Persist with your bold faith and inspired action until the impossible happens. Isis has a spirit of triumph and will never fail in her quest. No matter how bold or impossible it seems, let her inspire you believe. So some of you do need to call on Isis because some of you are maybe wanting to give up. Again, this could just be about your authenticity. Stop playing it small. What you need to heal, letting go. So again, letting go of playing it small. Letting go of second guessing yourself. 
I'm also hearing for some of you letting go of like the walls around your heart. Oh my God. And then we got love. <laughs> so yeah, definitely there is maybe some blocks to love there. Blocks in the heart chakra. Also the sacral as well, because the heart chakra deals with love, compassion, but the sacral chakra also deals with desires, emotions, sexuality. Gospel of Aradia. We have creation and fortune. Okay, so some of you, I was getting that you are creators, um, whether you know you make something, you're an artist, and this is how you make your money or how you want to make your money. But some of you might be struggling with it. So whether you're trying to get it going or you're already doing it, but you, it's like you're being asked to show up authentically. So some of you could be struggling with that. And if you're feeling like you're not succeeding or not receiving abundance of your blessings, it's because you need to let go of that playing it small mindset. So from the moonology, we have adjustments are required third quarter moon. So again, if things aren't working, it's because, and I'm also getting some of you are developing something over time or have developed something over time. However, things aren't fully working out because there's, like it says, adjustments are required. There's things you need to change. And some of that is about your own mindset, your own beliefs. And it's this rewiring of your belief system, your conditioning, that is what is needed. But for some of you, it's um, not additional. And for your goddess, you need to call upon. We have Sarasvati, the arts, express yourself through creative abilities. So again, you get the creative um, card twice. So definitely those of you in the arts. So, you know, whether it's music, it's art, it's fashion, whatever you wish to create. Okay, and remember how I said some of you could have sacral chakra balancing to do because also the sacral chakra not only deals with sexuality, desires, and emotions, but creativity. So definitely there could be some creative blocks as well as, you know, in your sacral chakra. Okay, so the keeper of the light, we have hope, love, and acceptance. Love is yours. Recognize your divine worth. Choose loving thoughts. So again, see how there's the orange as well as the yellow in this card? So the orange sacral chakra, the, um, the orange is the sacral, the yellow, the solar plexus. So the, both these um, lower chakras need balancing. So the um, solar plexus deals with personal power, will, confidence, joy, worthiness. Did I say worthiness? And it says recognize your divine worth. So love and acceptance, you have to accept yourself first and how, yeah, love and accept yourself first and then others will fall in line. So if you're not showing up as your authentic self and you're feeling like you're being rejected, it's because you're not really being the authentic you. And even if you are being the authentic you and people don't like it, then they're not your people. There's not one person that everybody likes, let's be honest. And sometimes people don't like other people because they're seeing something in that person they don't want to recognize in themselves. Or also, if you've heard, like, with light workers and healers, if someone doesn't like you, sometimes it's because you're, you're disrupting their demons. Like, your light could be disrupting, you know, if, you know, you're triggering them because it's not about you, it's about them. And you need to start telling yourself you don't have time for that, and that's part of what you let, need to let go, too. Other people's thoughts of you and, and opinions. Okay, work your light with boundaries. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? See how everyone has their arms out trying to reach out and she's just like, nope. So there might be people around you who, who ask for a lot or who ask and want you to give, but you need to give to yourself first and you might be feeling drained. And people, yeah, might harbor resentment, but again, it's not your problem. It's not your responsibility. And if you're feeling drained, you're not going to be able to work on what it is you're wanting fully. Because you need to be your authentic self and give yourself fully to what you're trying to do. And some of you are doing this as a distraction, so you don't have to move forward. 
so it's like a self-sabotage thing. I'm also getting for some of you like um, a lack mentality with this abundance. You're not open to receiving. When we're two in our divine masculine energy and we're the giver and other people are the taker, we're not able to receive. So you divine feminines who chose this pile, you might have issues you know, slightly where, not a lot, but there could be issues where you step into that masculine energy of giving and other people take and you're not receiving. And this is why you're not receiving this praise, this fortune, this coin, whatever have you, this love, because you are the one that gives. And now you need to stop giving so much and give to yourself and making sure your needs are met. Again, take what resonates. It's a general reading. So if a message doesn't resonate for you, just let it go. Work your light. We also have play, have fun, celebrate, don't be so serious. So some of you have taken on something, whether it's been for a while or it's new. It's something you obviously enjoy doing, want to do, and it's fun. However, you, you might not bring the joy into it because now that it's not just for fun, it's something you're maybe trying, you know, to be a business or work for or, or to make money from. You're now putting the serious tone into it and putting expectations on it. And now it's not so fun. So you have to learn how to have the um, to bring the joy back into what you're doing and not putting and attaching an outcome to it or expecting achievement or praise from it or money from it. Just, um, you know, putting out the intention. I'm creating this. Like, you know, being in more of a state of being and not doing it. I mean, still, you could put your attention that, you know, you want this to be successful for the highest good of all. And that what you're creating is to be enjoyed. But yeah, you do need to have more fun and not be so serious. Yeah, for some of you, I'm getting that you're clenching. And it's like you know, that grip and you just need to let go and be more laid back. Okay. The universe has your back. It says the universe works fast when I'm having fun. <laughs> so <laughs> I love when spirit does this. I did not pick these cards. I was shuffling. I didn't shuffle on camera because as you can see, I have many different decks I'm using. So it was easiest for me to just shuffle and let the cards fall out. But again, what is the message here? You need to have fun. Yeah, this could be my worker bee pile. Yeah, and you could attach your worth to like what you do, what you create, what you achieve, your success. And that's, there's more to life than that. So you need to have some balance. Okay, so we have your messages of love oracle cards from All Things Intuitive that I just got from Etsy. This is my latest deck. So these are love messages. So for you divine feminines, whether you are a divine feminine soul, this could be regarding your divine masculine or a divine masculine divine counterpart, you know, whether soulmate, twin flame, whatever you resonate with, or this, again, like if this you're watching this regarding your divine feminine side, this is about your divine masculine side. So we had fate. This is a destined partnership. Balance. One person is giving too much in this relationship. And boundaries, firm boundaries are needed now. Oh my God, it's so funny. I didn't even realize. So again, boundaries. Okay, I'm getting some, someone could have um, placed you on a timeout or a boundary too. So if you are a divine masculine regarding your divine feminine, You could feel, didn't I say something about a wall around your heart? Okay, this could be about the other person even. Okay, so maybe a cross watcher. Okay, so take how this resonates. So I'm getting for some of you could have, you or the other person could have set a boundary out, a wall around the heart, and you feel like you can't get in. And this could be within yourself regarding your divine feminine, divine masculine sides. Okay, but yeah, one person is giving too much. 
So for those of you who were the one who gives too much, this is where this boundaries is needed. And you need to put the boundaries in play. And if they're not willing to give you balance, then you need to let it go. And then once you do that, you know, fate will step in and a destined partnership will come in. Once you put out to the universe that you've set your boundaries, you know your worth, you're only going to accept a balanced partnership, a healthy partnership, not something that's one-sided, and then fate steps in. Because you've done your part, you have um, made your free will choice of, I'm not going to tolerate this one-sided relationship anymore. I'm not going to accept less than I deserve. And for those of you who were this person, where you took and things were out of balance and now you realize it and you realize, okay, this person, I want to bring this balance in because I know this person is, this connection is faded. It's like you are struggling with how to get back in their good graces because they might have blocked you, whether in actuality or you just feel it energetically and you're you don't know when to come in to try to bring balance in and I keep hearing tomorrow and like so some of you might keep putting this off until tomorrow Yeah, I'm really getting free will. So regardless if this is a faded connection, we still have our free will. And one thing I say is like, even if you have a connection with someone, if that connection isn't going to be honored, it really doesn't mean anything in a sense. And not to say that it won't mean anything on a spiritual level, on an energetic level, but I mean in the 3D, you know, it's like if... Yeah, if you have a connection with someone, a divine connection with someone, you have a connection with them. But if it's not going to be honored, you know, you, you can't have, make room for that person in your life, okay? And maybe once you put that boundary out there, that person is going to step up to the plate and do what they need to do and recognize your worth because you've recognized it. So I hope that makes sense. But yeah, I definitely I feel like I was talking to some of you who were the the cross watcher, the other person, like I said, I, I made this not just for divine feminines, but regarding your divine feminine side. So for some of you, if you're a divine masculine watching, this could definitely be regarding your divine feminine. Okay, your chakra tarot cards, which serve as tarot cards as well as the colors of the chakras. You have the Empress, which, and the green is the Heart Chakra. And then we have the Ten of Swords, which is the Solar Plexus Chakra with the yellow. So again, Empress, this could be about, again, creation. You have three cards about creating. But also the Empress, the Divine Feminine. I'm um, being really drawn to it. It's interesting how she, the Empress is holding the cup, but then it kind of looks like she's going to give it to this other girl. Okay, that's interesting. So for some of you, if you are this Divine Masculine, I'm getting for some, like someone's Divine Feminine being like, okay, you could take over. So if you were in another relationship... Your divine feminine might have been like, okay, no, you could have them kind of thing and decided to be like, like cut you loose. And not to say that like you, and again, this can be what, what you felt, this boundary, because there was no balance. And that's not to say that you can't, obviously, if you're divine counterparts, that there can't be a resolution, there can't be forgiveness, there can't be love because the twin flame connection is all about unconditional love. But this is saying that there could have been this boundary place because she's like, oh, yeah, you want him or her, you know, you, you know, go for it. You take over. Um, oh, I'm also hearing for some of you that, that this was like a last attempt. So this could be like regarding 
like this divine feminine to the divine masculine. I know there's two females in here. Again, take what resonates. The cards, and you know, whether, you know, you're a female watching for a female or a male, whether you're a male watching for a female or male, for just for this love portion. But I'm getting for some of you could have said this was my last attempt, made the last attempt. And once that didn't go anywhere, then, it, then the divine feminine was like, okay, I'm done. So for some, those of you divine feminines were like, yes, this is me. It's that you could still feel in this energy of defeat regarding, you know, you putting effort to, to var, towards your divine connection and your divine counterpart. And this is maybe where you feel stifled creative wise, because for some of you, it, your creative drive and pursuits could actually stem in some way regarding your divine connection and maybe that's why you feel a block and some of you don't feel like again you're maybe still in the energy of unworthiness and rejection even like you gave your heart away for the last time so some of you still feel like this pain in your heart you feel this rejection and unworthiness from your divine counterpart your divine masculine or a divine masculine. So yeah, some of you felt defeated. You you gave it a last your what you feel is your last shot, but then you're having issues moving forward because you haven't removed these sores and done the healing fully. But again, for those of you, this could be if you are watching as a divine masculine regarding your divine feminine side, you're regarding your divine feminine. This could be that she like kind of chose to, yeah, she put that boundary. She walked away. And now you're chosen, um, and when I say she, divine feminine. So whether your divine feminine is a she or he. And maybe as your divine feminine has chosen to be his or her authentic self, this is what is making you have to step into your authentic self. And I'm hearing for some of you, you're telling me it's hard. Okay, I know it's hard, but... And not to, you know, not to <laughs> throw shade, but if your divine feminine could do it, you can do it as a divine masculine. So again, two different messages depending on you are the divine feminine or you are watching regarding your divine feminine side or your divine feminine. Messages from the angels. We have Fiona. Now that you ask the angels for help, be open to receiving divine guidance and assistance. You deserve heaven's help. So again, you deserve. So making sure you're worthy, knowing you're worthy. You could call upon your spirit guides, your angels, whoever you call to pray to, asking for guidance, asking, sorry, the video cut out and we're just at the very end of your reading. So for, from the psychic tarot, you have all major arcanas that came up. We have the universe, which is the world, authority, which is the emperor, triumph, which is the chariot. So, <laughs> So yeah, for some of you, definitely, I'm getting with this universe, with the world. Okay, I'm hearing new decision, but yeah, I was getting like, there could be um, coming into union within yourself, your divine feminine, divine masculine self, and moving forward positive. And then I think at this group I talked about once you, as a divine feminine, once your your authentic self, your divine masculine will follow suit. And again, if you're the divine masculine watching, it's like you soon need to allow this to happen. But see how the authority in this card, he's like not budging. So you could have a possible happy reunion with this triumph and this universe and wrapping old cycles. However, you need to let go of the stubbornness. So we're gonna take what resonates for your divine masculines watching again for your divine feminine. It's showing that yeah, it is possible to move forward and get past the past and close that old chapter and cycle. However, you need to step into your authentic self and not be so stubborn. Again, take what resonates for divine feminines. I feel like you will be able to come into harmony within yourself and once you kind of don't settle for less and know your power, know your worth, 
And for you Divine Feminines watching, I'm getting with this authority, it's like this boundary. Like no one plays you, no one messes you around. You know, you don't take crap from anyone, you set your boundaries and you've learned your lessons and now you're able to push forward and be triumphant because you're able to finally like be authentic. And I think that's really like pushing past that barrier of feeling like, oh, you don't give enough, like if you're not giving enough, if someone's telling you don't give enough because you gave so much before and and you and you should allow yourself say no when you want to say no say yes when you want to say yes but yeah definitely like there was like some burdens and you don't need to shoulder them anymore you don't need to carry them because you literally will have issues with your shoulders because that's where we carry our burdens so yeah and i'm getting for some of you need to like set up more straight I should need to tell myself that one, <laughs> but so yeah, I'm getting for some of you, like if you hunch forward, like set up and stand up tall and proud. Yeah, and I'm hearing don't accept defeat because yeah, you had the ton of swords, but then right over you have the triumph, the chariot. So I think very positive to end the reading on. So it's really just about you letting go, stepping out of playing it small releasing these burdens, which could include people, you stepping into your authentic self, you creating your work, doing your divine work, being open to receiving money from this work, having fun while making sure you keep your firm boundaries in play. And while you're healing your sacral, solar plexus, heart, and possibly your throat chakras, and you come into balance within yourself, You'll, you know, you'll have hope that this love comes in as you feed yourself this own love and acceptance. So I hope that wraps up your reading. Makes sense to you all. So if you liked it, it resonated, you know, please like, share, comment, subscribe to my channel, as well as follow me on Instagram, The Magical Maven. And I thank you all for watching today. Love and light.